enjoy this presentation. Donache, donache, amase, donache. Welcome everyone to this edition of From Around the World Fridays. Uh, today we're looking at uh, the last day of my adventure to Cuba. Um, this this was a really, really fun day. A uh, long one, but a lot of fun. Um, got to see a lot of culture. So um, you'll see, went for another run in the morning. I uh, went down to a little bit different area along the Malecon. And uh, yeah, again, just another beautiful morning. Uh, the sun was shining. It was it was nice out. Um, just perfect. Um, and then we our our first uh, stop of the day today was uh, going to this little uh, little just little street alleyway kind of thing. Um, but it's a meant to be a culturally um, like kind of cultural center for uh the afro cubans um so people uh who came over from africa um and, and supposed to help uh kind of maintain their their heritage and everything so i uh, actually got to see a, a Roomba dem demonstration which you saw at the beginning here um and to see some more videos there um and then the the director of the place um gives a lot of history on uh you know the religion um of of the afro cuban Cubans and um, gives a lot of background and history on it. Uh, it was quite a lot, actually, uh, but really, really fascinating. So um, then they had all this really cool art that you that you see here um, and sculptures and different things. So um, yeah, it was a good way to start the morning. <laughs> So after uh, after that, we went to uh, a different part of the city to this artist house. Uh, this younger guy, uh, Ursula, is his last name, and um, a lot of really cool art there. Uh, he's he's doing this kind of series on uh, basically like you know we're we're all one Earth, just uh, looking at it from different perspectives, kind of thing. Um, so it's really cool. He makes these these paintings um as you can see these these big globes um and then what he does is he takes really 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 close up pictures of small areas of it um 
and then makes uh you know a whole bunch of tiles out of that so you see that it's all the same all the same painting still but you see it from different perspectives and so all the all the tiles are different uh, which I thought was really fascinating and really beautiful um such a such a cool concept <clears throat> but yeah really enjoyed it um we got to have <laughs> some uh some rum or cuba libre is uh at like 10 in the morning uh 11 in the morning uh when we went there uh to his house but um yeah well worth the stop after visiting ursula's uh gallery there we uh, went to a tobacco store uh, or cigar store, um, bought some cigars, um, which I got to bring a few back, uh, which was awesome. And then uh, we went and had lunch next to the um, the Casa Particular that we were staying at. Uh, really good uh, lunch there. Uh, the place was called the, uh, the Cha Cha Restaurant, I think. Um, and then some of us walked around uh, Old Havana, and, and you'll see uh, different pictures here and art, lots of art there. Um, and then a little uh, picture out front of our accommodations, the La Posada de Chacon. Um, and yeah, it was just a beautiful afternoon uh, exploring the city before we uh, got ready for our final dinner. One thing I did get to do that was really added a uh, cool experience uh, was I, I needed a haircut uh, while I was there. And um, so I talked to the tour guide and he recommended these guys uh, that were just not too far from, from where we were staying. And um, yeah, so I got to go in there and uh, this guy here, he gave me a, a haircut and uh, trimmed up the beard and uh, did, did an awesome job. It was just, it was really fun getting to talk with him and hear his stories and uh you know his life as a barber and um you know him wanting to to visit uh family in, in the u.s and see california and things like that it was just it was really really cool um really fun experience and um you know i hope uh i definitely overpaid for the uh for the haircut so hopefully that's uh, helpful to him but yeah what a what a really cool added experience there Okay, so that night we had our final dinner, and we went to this uh, this fancy place called La Guarida, uh, which was famous. Uh, apparently, there was a really famous uh, uh, movie made there uh, back in the day. Um, but yeah, really good good food. Um, we had like a a set menu to choose from, and then they brought out these appetizers that were really fancy. Um, all of it tasted pretty good. Um, not sure what some of the things were. I know there's some tuna in there. I had pork. Um, I, again, I don't know what some of the other things were, but uh, all pretty good. And then uh, after dinner, uh, yeah, it was a really nice place. Um, but after dinner, we went back to the old town uh, just to spend the last night uh, together for a while. Uh, we went to um, the old one of the squares there and uh, went to a. a a bar that had uh, some outdoor seating and they had some flamenco going on, which was, uh, was cool. We got to, got to watch a little bit of that, but we just kind of all hung out on the street and, uh, had mojitos and I think I had a Cuba Libre and, uh, just enjoyed, enjoy, enjoyed each other's company. And then, um, uh, yeah, I think we're all pretty tired, uh, by the end of that. So most of us, uh, went back uh, to the hotel and, uh, kind of said some of our goodbyes and then went, went to bed. Um, and that was, that was last night. So the next morning I got up and uh, had a one final great breakfast, as you can see here, and then uh, went to the airport. Um, I had an earlier flight, so I was just, uh, I was one of the first ones uh, actually to leave, I think. But um, anyways, yeah, uh, flew back, uh, the short trip back to Miami. Um, it was a little, it was really fun to see the, the landing in Miami. Um, beautiful city there on the water there. And then, um, yeah, I, uh, 
stayed in Miami for the day. Um, I just uh, was was working uh, on some things on a laptop. Uh, that was the day of the Super Bowl, so I watched the Super Bowl as well while I was working out. Um, and then the next uh, next day, I flew out of Fort Lauderdale uh, back to Seattle and uh, made the trek home. Um, but beautiful sunset uh, as I was I was leaving Fort Lauderdale there, and uh, yeah, the sunset on another adventure there. So. Hope you guys all all enjoyed uh, exploring Cuba with me, and uh, hopefully this has inspired you to go uh, go on your own adventures as well. Um, but we'll be back next week with uh, something new. So hope you guys enjoyed and uh, keep traveling. I'll see you somewhere around the world soon.